Hey folks, Dallas here with Privateer Press. Today, we're gonna paint up the polished gold of the Signaran military. So let's get started. So I've already applied a nice solid coat of Rulet Gold to all of my gold elements. And we're just gonna shade this. We're gonna shade it with a mix of brown ink and sanguine base. Nice, very thin shade actually. Then we're gonna to go to a darker shade of Umber Lumber and Exile Blue to get in all those little dark spots and really push the contrast. And then we're gonna go right into some highlights. All right, let's make our shade. We're gonna take some sanguine base, brown ink. The brown ink just darkens that up. Maybe give it another drop. There we go. Makes a nice rich color. We're gonna add a drop of mixing medium. This will increase the translucency. Now I'm really gonna water this down. I'm kind of making a wash here for my first shade. There we go. So we're just gonna apply this over all the gold elements. It's like a nice wash. This is just gonna tint that Rulet gold into more of a red tone. Just a nice wash. So because this is washed, you can let this pull up in all those little crevices and get in there and shade them nice and good. Especially these little holes in the drilled out armor. It's okay to be messy around here. See that? Doesn't matter. I'm gonna paint that later. And just make sure you get all the gold elements. All right, our wash is dry and it's ready to apply our second layer of shading. All right, for our second shade, we're gonna simply apply some Umber Lumber and Exile Blue right into our first shade. Makes a nice dark color. And we're just going to brush blend this into our deep shadows. I'm just going to work around all this gold, just applying it where it's appropriate. I love this color because it's like, it's purple, it's brown, it's blue. It's just got all this happening to it. It's just a very interesting color. You also want to make sure each of these little holes in the drill that armor is full, nice and dark. Gives nice contrast. With our shading complete, it's time to move on to our highlights. For our highlights, we're just gonna take some solid gold. I'm gonna very quickly blend little highlights right where we want them. Edges of the armor, tops of the armor, places like that. Just start building in that contrast. Pop these rivets Just a little bit. Not every place has to be blended. I can just use a layer here. I'm going to do the edge of the armor, maybe a little underneath some of these drilled out holes. Just enough to get a little highlight in there. And just keep working around to you're happy with the effect. All right, we blended our solid gold on and it looks pretty good, but we're gonna give this gold one final pop with a final highlight. For this, we're just gonna mix some of our radiant platinum into our solid gold. This gives a nice white gold look. So radiant platinum is a very, very bright silver. When you mix it together, it gives you a really nice highlight for gold. I'm just gonna keep this very specifically for edges and upper surfaces. 
I'm not going to get too overboard on this. This is just the final little glint highlights here. Just gives it that little extra pop. It makes our miniatures look so good. And there we have our final highlight on Gwyn Keller, and we're ready to go. Now there's a gold that would give Venter fits. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos, and check out the links below for more in this series and additional information on the P3 Hobby line. Now that's some gold even Venter would be jealous of. Painting this gold up will sure cause a coup. That gold looks electric. Your opponents will sure to get a charge out of it. Hopefully that will spark your inspiration.